This is the iFi Audio Zen Air Can, a budget desktop headphone speaker amplifier for cheapskates like you and me. Yes, and we're going to review this today, but bonus, I'm also going to show you how you can set up a bloody effective stack made up of the Zen Air Can as the amp combined with the Zen Air DAC, which I did a review on earlier this year as the DAC preamp. So are you ready for this? Let's go! <laughs> The iFi Audio Zen Air Can runs $100, and for that, you get an all plastic build, but it is very solid. There's no creaking whatsoever, aside from the hollow noise. Gold contact points, really nice plastics, nice volume knob with a good action. Rubber feet at the bottom that are really soft and spongy and nice. At the back, you have three inputs, a 3.5, two RCAs, and ho hold on, I was saving up to do this for you guys, just peeling back this sheet. Oh yes, and there's another one at the front. You can see uh, there are protective caps that come with it. I mean, you can use it for transporting or just, you know, to keep dust out. I'm doing this as well. Check this out. Oh yes. Um, so we have a 6.4 millimeter and also a balance 4.4. And we have X base two as well as X base buttons right here. You can cycle them uh, either as one or combined. And then you have three different gains from zero, nine and 16. And, and also three, again, here's a button to select from three different inputs from the back right here. And here is the power button. It's as simple as that because this is basically an amp. One thing about the design, besides the whole retro look and how small and svelte it is, which means it's easy to tote around, I really like the texture at the top and at the bottom. And also I like the kind of gold that they use for the volume button right here. It kind of reminds me of a WRX STI rim, right? Those, the gold that they use, it's very, very similar. First, let me go through what I like about the Zen Air Can, and then we'll talk about the negatives, and then we'll get to building the stack. And of course, we'll wrap things up after that. So I mentioned this a while ago that I really like the retro plastic build on this thing. It's easy on the eyes and really who cares if it's plastic because amps are essentially fire and forget devices that once you set it, you're pretty much done, right? So I'm not like frequently worrying too much about how it feels under my fingers all the time. Well, unless, you know, you're a dirty old mechanophiliac who can't stop caressing your amp and getting your jollies from penetrating the portholes with your jack, then I'm sorry you got bigger problems there, my friend. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The center can is plasticky, but it's solid. The volume knob is a jaw to twist, but let me show you this. Those with larger hands, if you have the 6.3 jack in there, at the three o'clock position, it's kind of narrow. You're probably going to bump into it. So something to bear in mind. Oh, another win for the plastic body is you can pretty much easily take this anywhere with you. Like say to your favorite audio shop to test out headphones if you wanted to. Because amplifiers being what they are, there's really not much a manufacturer can or really needs to do in terms of applying its own signature to the sound like it would with a DAC, for example. But what the manufacturer can do is ensure the boosted signal from the source to your ears is as clean as a whistle. So I'm happy to report that the Zener can doles out clean, noise-free headphone outs. There's no EMI hum regardless of what power source the 5 volt USB is connected to. So in this case, thumbs up to the TI and TDK circuitry plus iFi's own internal mods that keep noise to a minimum.
Unfortunately, my unit came with a rather sticky input cycle button. It's like the spring inside here has a mind of its own. So whenever I depress the button, it will decide when it wants to rebound. This is what a healthy button sounds like. And this is not. Yeah, it's sticky and when it's cold, it's even worse. It's It doesn't even come out of its slot right here. So I've read of a few other users having the same issues, but thankfully it's super rare enough, apparently that you probably won't experience it yourself. But again, I thought I'll bring it up anyways. Maybe some of you can chime in on this, but what's with iFi Zen products and their ultra short cables like this one? Come on, iFi, give us four feet, six feet cable so the amp isn't forced to be tethered so close to the source because as it is, look at this thing, a foot and a half. This kind of cable really limits where I can place the amp on my desk. Dang it. So in case you didn't know, building a stack is quite an involved and oftentimes dangerous process. So pay close attention to the steps, guys, because if you blink, you might miss it and probably die too. In this case, the air can is set up in a way that it's uh, in series upwind from the air DAC. Viewing both units from the back right here, I already have the RCA out from the DAC and you connect that to the can. Red to the right and white to the left. And then after that, you connect the power into the can right here with the barrel side over here and the USB side to your power source. It's optional on the DAC itself, but I highly recommend that. Now, wasn't that the most complicated DIY hack you've ever seen? And I don't blame you guys if you ever attempt this. My first time was like three and a half hours just to get this. Yes, it was just as hard as me trying to make NyQuil chicken for the first time. That was bad, but I'll include it in the video. The big question here though is, why would you want to build a stack in the first place? Well, to put it simply, if you bought a new headphone that requires more power than say the Zenair DAC or something similar can provide, connecting the headphone through the stack basically doubles the power, if not more. You can also get double bass boost if you turn both on, and which is really useful with very neutral headphones. Another thing I found useful is when I want to compare or listen to or share separate headphones like I have right here, running from the same source at the same time, especially if one headphone is easier to drive. I can connect that to the air deck below and then another one that requires more power above and use it that way. Super convenient. iFi Audio, I'll tell you what, nails it on the head once again, guys. And this time giving us a powerful, clean sounding amplifier that doesn't break the bank. And if I'm not mistaken, this thing right here might also be the cheapest amp with a 4.4 balance output on the market. And if I'm wrong about that, let me know down in the comments. And of course, some can argue this, it could perhaps use a couple more ports such as a speed if in or sub out, but I think that would totally mess with the entire concept or ethos of the Zen Air Ken, as well as the price. And as we saw earlier, used by itself or as part of a stack, this thing is fantastic. So that's all I got to say about that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to show your support. Thumbs up if you like this. Comment nicely down below. Join the conversation and also subscribe to this channel. Oh, by the way, I need to advertise this because I just started a YouTube membership thing. So click on the membership thing or join whatever. And you can see I've only one tier this time at the anyway. And I'd like to offer you those perks like getting shout outs if you know you join being a member or whatever, and also get priority in comments because I'm getting overwhelmed by so many questions. It's really hard to keep up. So if you're a member, I'll make sure that you're at the top of my list. Thank you again for watching. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, because guess what? If you haven't seen the news, like with Afghanistan and Israel and Palestine, the world needs it more than ever. And it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out and God bless.